even if we see that shift and if in two weeks in our polling averages donald trump you know the joe biden has taken the lead i am skeptical that that is going to last and the reason for that is that when you dig into the polls that i mentioned that seven point shift it's not uniform it's not like seven percent of people are shifting from donald trump to joe biden it's actually the case and let me make sure i pull up the correct numbers that in terms of kind of like their raw support, Donald Trump's number goes down by six points, but Joe Biden's number only goes up by one point. What's happening Ooh, here is that, yeah. Another BFD. Yeah. What's happening here is that Trump supporters in these polls are going from Trump to undecided, or uh, I believe one of the polls had kind of a vague, quote, someone else option. Um, that is a very convenient place for people who want to vote for Trump to park their support for basically the next month or so while this is happening to Trump and while it is, you know, not a great look to be supporting a convicted felon elect. Um, but the fact that they're not switching to Biden suggests to me that they will eventually, that these are basically Republican voters who will eventually come home. And again, five months until the election, there are going to be more news stories, including some that are bad, bad for Biden, um, that are, are, could jostle people, or even just kind of natural, you know, when people are faced in the voting booth with that choice, they're not going to be able to, you know, to vote for Joe Biden because they are a Republican and a Trump supporter. Scan this QR code to go to the Apple and Spotify podcast apps to download the full 538 Politics podcast. 